Welcome back to our second half coverage of the MP40 Masters Cup. Tony Tran at 10 under, Steve Rico 9 under, Shasta 7 under, Scott 6 under, and Jason at even. All right, off the bat, Scott with the tee shot that looks like it gets mostly through. This one can be hard to see the disc at times. Popped out, here comes Rico. Left side. He does Hit get treated on that one. Yeah, I thought so, okay. All right, here comes Tony, still at 10 under from the start of his round. Leader coming in. All right, that looks like a nice, safe, dependable shot. Gives him a look. Okay, I think he's circle two. Gasset with this T shot on 13. Jas is not playing disc golf. He just loves enjoying nature. So they go hand in hand. Ooh, looks like it got hit down. I could not see it. Did you, Jimmy? I think oh, it there it is. Went right by me. I didn't even <laughs> see it. Yeah, sometimes you, uh, as a cameraman, sometimes you can miss them. Especially when it's going right at you. Jason coming up. Oh, he got stopped early. Come down. And he's safe. All right. That's Doug O'Dell there. He's our resident spotter on a course hole 12, tournament 13. Nice. Nice forehand up by... Uh, looks like he's in the bullseye there. Scott, who had gone long. Berg upshot, and he's looking good there. Tony looks like maybe 40. Oh, oh. Had a good run on that one. He needs to save his par. Oh, another good bid. And Shasta, can he get the birdie here? Looks like 35 feet. Yeah, got to some stuff to work through here. Oh, he made it in. Wow. Great job, nice Justin. spot. Yeah. That's some pep in your step running up to grab that one. Nice spot. Tony Parr, drop in. Scott here. He's a resident of San Francisco Golden Gate Park. That's his uh, current home course right now. Racing our presence down here. He had come down and uh, won one of our higher tags at one of the membership drives, didn't he? He's a solid player. He's been playing out here for a long time. He loves uh, the Vega. Steve uh, finishes up there for bogey. Jason from Sacktown again. He likes the Ballista Pros, Raiders, Ryan. Yeah, Those are his uh, distance drivers. Right, here we go. Shasta on I-5 here. 550 feet. R3. You're good. You're good. That looks like a good drive. Oh, good forward progression. Oh, that's a good spot right there. Yeah. There's our resident spotter, Scott Brown. Bizzle with his drive on 14. Low laser beam. Ooh, a little bit too low. Some of those little grass bush nubs are going to stop your disc immediately. Tony, smooth release. I think this is a placement shot for him. Comes a big power arm, Jason. A little bit of flip up there. Good skipper. Good skipper. Ooh, that nice drive. He's down in the lower window. That's a, great, that's a great spot to land. I think Steve's most likely throwing his rival here, one of his top drivers. Looks like he got some on it uh, pretty stable it seemed to stable up like a little hook lamp stamp here any idea what this is jimmy i don't, I don't know. Oops, is it something earlier unfortunately Ooh, oh, tree. tony's lining up the roller this is a favorite among some of the locals here okay it looks like it's working pretty good 
curled up a little bit early, but he should have a gap over there running for a par. See with the forehand up, will it get through? I think he was mostly just playing for position there. Just with another forehand. Oh, unfortunate tree hit there. Jason with a big drive. Oh yeah, bullseye Great. look like from Great. here. That was a great up shot. Steve's right there in the bullseye as well. Just a clear bar. Take the medicine. This has got to be the uh, number one handicap hole. On this yeah, there's understand. no doubt. I mean. It is a tough hole, I-5. You're not finding many birdies out here. And uh, if you find a birdie, that's one that gets remembered by a lot of people. Hey! Tony finishes with a bogey. He'd like to forget that one. If Scott can put this one in here. Oh, a little low on that. Maybe an early release. Jason, great par, putting back at the basket. A big par. Bogey for Shasta. Steve oh. here. When he's not playing disc golf, he likes to practice jujitsu, wrestling on the mats. Ooh, the push putt. He's got it. Unfortunately, it was a double. Some frustration for sure, but it's what Dela does. Oh. Jason, big power, Iser. I think he cleared that tree. Jason looks like he's aiming the same line. No, he went down the gut. Got through there. Tony goes through the gut as well. Nice shot up in the fairway. goes up the gut as well. Yes. That seems to be the most favored for a distance, but it is more of a risky shot. The top, over the top, is definitely safer, but you lose the distance. Looks like Scott's going to go up. No? Okay. No. He, he sure thing. looked like he was eyeing it. Now here's Shasta here. This is a guarded basket. Finished left, well up. Steve with his up shot. Oh, oh wow. That's unfortunate. Tony, another patented forehand up shot with the mid range. And that one kind of let him down. Let's see if Jason can throw a clean one. And he does. Inside circle. It. Scott, patent pending. A little long, but he's got a lane coming back. She has to save this one. No, but he's right under the basket. Tony Papar. Tony likes going on hikes with his son Kai when he's not out here on the disc golf course. Looks like he got a lane through the trees there. Ooh, air ball. We'll come back right here. Oh, that would have been a big play. This hole seems to be eating up a lot of people during the tournament. This stretch of three holes in a row is very difficult. Can Jason cash it in? Yes, he does. What enthusiasm. Tony cleans up the bogey. No battle putts? No, not quite. Here we are. This 
is not really viewable from the tee pad, so Jimmy is forced to uh, record from a landing area, which you can't really see the disc until it's coming in. Makes it hard to pick up. <laughs> there's the basket, and there's the disc. It's looking pretty good. It's much nicer having two cameras. <laughs> but we got by with this. First production with one. We are growing our feet under us as we speak. Nicely done. Hits the lock. Tony, you can bang in the birdie here. Hey. Yes, he can. Woohoo! Nice putt. Wow, that had to be 65 feet. Shasta from a little closer. Yes, indeed. That part for Steve. Happy birdie's important. Daylaw takes them away so fast, and you really got to get the ones you can. The windmill slam dunk by Jason. What she has to throw in here? I'm thinking of her again. Put some power on it. Oh, he's going roller. So he's going roller. I'm guessing he's throwing a sail on that. That's a pretty reliable roller disc that's going to get over on you. Why is that the log is going to do a turnover backhand. That's why I was going with the Shasta King. Good chance that Tony is throwing a wraith here. One of his favorite drivers. But he's going with the roller as well. Tricking us up. So that is not a wraith. That's looking good though. Oh, that's looking real good. There's a gap between that tree that cut down where you can squeeze through. I'm going to safe to say he's not throwing a roller here. We're going to get a power drive here. Yes, indeed. Back up. Coming back. Great shot. Over and he goes up and over. Well, is he going roller on us? They've been tricking us lately. Ah, looks like he might be looking that way. Coming out of it. Yeah, great shot by Scott. Keeping us guessing. Steve with his drive. I'm guessing he's going with the roller because him and Tony do play a lot of similar shots. You know, they've been out here for many years on tour, playing tournaments. Get outside for Steve, unfortunately. If he got far enough in, there is an opening on the other side. Yeah, it's tough over there. Oh, oh wow. look nice at this. Part, Looked oh. like a thumber. Shasta with a nice under the basket layup. Tony's got this bush and tree sticking in his face. Up and over. Oh, good run. Scott, Berg, laid up. Where Steve finished at. Good shoot. Good set. There's Jason for birdie. Great drive. Pin high. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, could not convert. Big par putt for Tony. Yeah, save. Need that. All right, Jason gets his par. Just looking around, going, "Am I outside?" Yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go then. Fine. <laughs> Bizzle, first he throw in the flopper, then the backhand. This is gravity or the lady hole. It's called gravity because it pulls your disc down and to the right. Man, 
Come in. Come in. Tony. There it comes. A little bit long, but he's looking good in the circle. Sit. Sit. Left and get anti skip. Yes, he does. To the hey. basket. Hey, there there really go. Safe. Oh, safe. Oh, safe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, playing that anti skip off the hill has good results. We actually witnessed an ace together. A friend of ours, Tim, did that exact way. Of course, he threw it left handed. Scott, see, he's playing that shot that we're talking about. No. But he got hung up on the left side, didn't go towards the basket. No anti skip for him. He's playing the same area. And a nice sit for him. That's a good play there. Stretching those legs out. And Dahmer disc golf Scott puts it in. He just recently uh, got picked up by them. It's great. Shasta has been with DGA, however, for a long time. Just nominated to the Icon team. Long time. Tony Tran, wearing his Pinto Lake disc golf hat right now. He's sponsored by the local community here. Friends and family. Comes back, gets the par. That's a good comeback, but Steve Rico is sponsored by Legacy Discs. You'll feel bad. I not sure if uh, Jason is sponsored by Dynamic. Um, I know he throws a, mostly all trilogy discs. Here we are at home 19. Shasta on the box. We'll throw it looks like the uh, thing over. Stay over. Nice this, drive. this is uh, far right, 276 feet. You really want that turnover and to hook back at the end. It's also known as the Anaconda Hole. It has a large root that basically prevents your entry from lay up, laying up. Tough hole. That looked like it has the right angle. This is one of those holes that would be nice to have two cameras and in future coverage we will. It's like so he got through as well. Steve's going with more of a fairway driver, it looks like here, as opposed to the mid-ranges from the other players. And it looks like it's working pretty well. I like that throw. Peter Sontag actually aced this hole with a turn during this tournament. Pretty impressive. And once you see the course design of this hole, oh. who hasn't been here before, you'll know why it's so impressive. There's a steep drop off behind the basket as well. Scott just short with his up. See if he can get it to settle. Drifts a little bit right. You can kind of see that anaconda in the shadows there. You gotta lay up either in front of it or behind it. It's such a dangerous layout. Behind the basket, it starts going down, and it has three different tiers, and the last tier, it goes down very far. Ooh. Oh. oh, just missing the birdie putt. Well, he's beating himself up for that one. Let's go. Steve, though, he catches it. Look at a missed out opportunity. Scott with the air ball. Look at that view in the background, Jimmy. That's great. Meanwhile, Shasta with a par. <coughs> and bogey for Scott. And clean up there on the basket. Jason with the par. Hold 20 here. From the outside. Now in the long oh, yeah. 
play is to get around the back side of these trees or go straight down the middle with the hookup and skip up the trail. It's, uh, it's touchy. There's a steep ravine on the right and road OB on the left. Just around for that back door line. That looks pretty good. Oh. There was a big tree that came down and we have a large root ball there. And it's known as the Medusa's head. Oh, uh, you're fine. That's right. a good line. That's a great throw. Tony's got here. Oh, heartwood. The basket down there in the shadows. Do it. Uh, so you can get close. Ooh, ooh, put a run on it. Buzz the tower. Shasta's got a look here. They recently cut down that tree. You can see the stump right in front of you. Not open up this line. All right, nicely done, Shasta, under the basket. <coughs> Steve. Looks like a bird here. Got it. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh wow. That is a bergy. He loves those birds. Those are his favorite discs. Very nice. When I asked him to give me a selection, he gave me three different molds of bergs. <laughs> oh, just nubbed out. All right, Jason. He is, he is stoked. He's enjoying his time here, that's for sure. Tony makes his putt. Just par. Clean up. All right, this is going to bring us after this hole. Journey begins up the hill towards top of the world. Call him no look, Jack. Razor Ramon, put on the bag of Steve today. He was walking next to Scott there. I played with him during the tournament. Get out of there. This one is uh, a pump, so you've got to get up the hill 350 feet, but it's playing like 450 for sure. Yeah, if you get to that bush uh, uh, beyond, you're looking great. Asta, the father. I think he's throwing a hurricane here. Got some whip on it. That should be fine. A little jump hunt from there. Jason with a mighty throw. Sailing up the fairway. Great shot. Tony. It's a good throw. Yeah. But he gets nibbled up by the trees. He's safe, though. Scott here, unfortunately, was two meter in the tree. Great upshot, though. Nice. Tony from the shadows. Playing the shade, that's smart when it's hot out here. Oh, oh damn, off son. the top. Circle two here. Throw it in. Ooh. At the height and distance. Sit out. I guess it. Sacrificing the body doesn't quite make it in. No. Oh, oh, oh no. no. And this is the term day lod right here where you get those rollaways. Oh, and that's going to net him with a bogey because of. Play it just the way you want. 
There you go. Good putt. Good putt. Yeah. That's how she goes sometimes. Need to come back to here. This hole 25 was a 2021 Masters Cup. It was a playoff hole for a great friend of ours, Jonathan Baldwin. He won his last Masters Cup tournament here in a playoff in his final putt. God rest his soul. We love that man. Yeah. Right, cleaning up here. Jason with his bogey. Jasta spreading out and gets his putt. Moving on to hole 22. This dude's going to throw a backhand hydro line. This is 276 feet uphill to the right. It looked like he had a good drive there. This one can easily kick and start rolling down the hill. Another sloped hole. Ooh, that was a good kick. That's a favorable kick. Going up to the top is, is a good shot. And Tony just goes up the middle. Shot goes straight ahead. Playing towards a straight shorter position for safe play, I believe. Let's see if Jason can do that. Big power, Heiser. Good looking shot. Yes. Take that all day long. I think most people will take Shasta's shot even though uh, he's not happy with the deflection. For birdie here, Steve. Come on! Do it. Do it. Ooh. Jason, right on the basket. All right, Tony for birdie as well. Come on! Ooh, yeah, big yeah. Putt. <laughs> that helps cause. Yeah, Ooh, big par putt by Shasta. That is a death putt. Looking at that. Because if he missed, he'd be down there. Got the bar. Steve, the bar. All right. We've got two holes left. We have a battle on our hands here. Tony's at nine under. Right. This has uh, two sloped sides here. You got to stay on the top. See that six under here. Get a shot. Get under. Get under. Get under. Get under. That's a good looking shot. Now can you stay up top on the peninsula? Ooh, just off the edge. Shasta at eight under. The fairway's so narrow. It's, it's tough to stick on and turn it over just like that on the other side. And a lot of times you can't feel the wind that's about halfway down the fairway when you're on the tee pad here. Really it's a guessing game. Maybe he just means that he didn't go way down the hill. Scott's got a good one. Can it finish back? Oh. Hit down, but he's in the middle of the fairway. Jason. Slow turnover. <laughs> you shouldn't be too far off the edge here. Got in the middle, but farthest out. Berg again. Floaty should be right there, about 20 feet. Shasta from the walking path down there. Oh, yeah. Is he going to do it? Oh, what a run. Yeah, Jason's right off the edge there. If you're right there, that isn't too bad. It's not the birdie you're looking for, but you feel pretty safe about pulling it apart. Yep. Right, Looks like they're all, they're all in cleanup range here. 
that one seemed a, a little bit of nerves for Tony. He's got a one-stroke lead going to the final hole. Scott, his far putt. Woo, he put some mustard on that. Luckily, there was plenty of bun to catch it. All these guys know that position is important down the stretch here, even if it is not for first place. They want to cash in some money here. Shasta usually rolls a cart the entire round, but when it comes up the hill, he grabs himself a nice small bag. All right, Tony with the one stroke lead going into the final hole. We got OB along the road, anything's possible here. His wife and two kids looking on there. And this thing is sailing out there and it's heading towards the road. He needs some help. He needs some help. All the spotters are watching. What's going on? Oh, I got a safe, safe. We got green. Oh, Tony was sort of sweating that. Here we go for Steve. What's he got there in his hand? Similar tactic. He's making it right. Yeah, folks, it is coming back. Shasta, he needs a stroke here to put the pressure on Tony. Tony is not getting the burden unless he can burden it far. On Shasta, what does he have to offer? More to finish as well. Oh, yeah, go. Left and right, go oh, back. No. It's safe. Short, but it's safe. Okay, so we're going to try the forehand line here. There you go. This is a preferred route by many. Ooh, it looks good. It's pretty high, though. Can it get down in time? Yeah, it cannot. Over by the dead tree by whole one. <laughs> hey, we're almost done here. Who's going to step it up? Shasta, good throw out. Oh, oh, it goes a bit long. Jason with the birdie opportunity from deep. All right, he secures himself even for the tournament. Bird throwing. Ooh. All right, he'll finish at three under for the tournament. We say right along the edge. Of the right road. on the edge of the road, just enough. And there he is. That's the part that Tony's trying to win the tournament for, folks. Okay, just stay still. Just stay still. Meanwhile, Steve wants to cash this one in. Uh oh, uh oh! Ooh, I thought he had it. This is where uh, Shasta ended up. He, he knows he can't make it, so he's just laying out. They're all looking to get out of the way now. This is the time. Congratulations to Tony Tran. He is our 2023 Santa Cruz Masters Cup MP40 champion presented by DGA. That's a long time coming for Tony. Yes, it is. He's played out here for many years. Another battle putt. Man, these guys, they're having a great time out there. Win or lose. There it is, Tony. This is it. Congratulations to the man. Yeah! Yes. Congratulations. He's a, he's, a, he's a local pro here. People love him. There's me running around with my banner. Rico and Shasta, they're giving him congrats. There's Scott. They all know. They, they've known each other. They've all known each other for a long time. There's Razor Ramon helping clean up the course at the end of the tournament. There's his family, there's his wife. It's great to see it. You should feel the emotion that everyone had for this man that day. Thank you all so much for joining us. Top of the World Disc Golf. We will see you again very soon. Please welcome High Pressure Stamps. Thank you very much. See you around next time.